oil and gas um, probably is tight, and I think that you know that's growing demand, and we see growing demand. We expect that that continues. Um, as far as you know, over tightening. You know, I think the price of oil is going to be you know a function of supply and demand, and so I think that. Um, you know, what we're seeing realistically is that it's difficult to produce oil and gas. And I think that we're remembering that or realizing how difficult it is to produce oil and gas, particularly as North America, uh, you know, wrestles with where their production is going to land. And meanwhile, we see lots of activity around the world. Are we going to see triple digit oil prices soon? Yeah. You know, I always get that question wrong, so I'll just uh, stick with what I'm seeing, which is if we look around the world, uh, there's a lot of support for oil and gas, and it did pro and particularly oil price. And I, you know, below 70 never made sense to me, just given what's required to produce oil and gas. And I think you know we'll continue to see tightening. How much of a pushback are you getting from clients? Well, another pushback, let's call it, you know, what's the debate like with clients around raising service fees for next year? Look, I think that um, service quality and efficiency underpin everything that we do. And so we really always start our conversations around how efficient, how effective are we? I think beyond that, you know, there's a recognition that equipment is tight around the world. And look, we're... Um, focused on returns and returning cash to shareholders the same as our customers are. And so I think we've got a very different dynamic in the oil field today than we've probably ever had in terms of discipline, both on capital investment by our clients and by us, and also generating returns over the long term. And I think we're at a place where we can do all of that. And I think our customers understand that returns are what are required in order to invest in research and development and new technology.